What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Town in the Pit. Today, we're at 1404 Taylor Road in Owego, New York, home of the Owego Bowl and Ten in the Pit Pro Shop. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ten in the Pit. Today, we are going to do the GB5 review. Symmetrical solid. Probably got, what, 80 games on this thing right oh, now? Oh, my God. Probably more than that. Probably more than that. This is your ball you normally start with, right? So we have a fresh oil. Quinn's gonna play some typical lines, even though he is doing this without his thumb, doing two-handed. I'm gonna force him to start up 10. No matter what, just give you guys a look. Hopefully it looks decent and he can move his way right across the lane. He'll continue to go as far as the carry keeps going or if he doesn't throw the ball like ass. Sound about right? Second one's probably gonna happen. Good. And if you made it this far in the video, 60% of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video too. Yeah. Come on, yeah. it's me. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna throw a practice shot, guys. Let's see. That's a good practice ball, Bobby. So the outside boards don't hook here. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that by watching our videos, but. Yeah, outside is not dry here. Specifically the gray board. Gray boards will make any ball go straight. <laughs> okay, so they're oiled, we can tell that. Um, like James said, I'm going to try and go up 10. It's going to be a flat release. I'll do another one, get it outside. I believe... That wasn't bad though, it shows that it's tame. Correct. Might even have to shoot your spares on this lane. Oh. Forgot about that. Alright. Let me make fun of your spare again. Start off on the... Just throw it out. Okay, so another one. Then 20, one through that. So with your rev rate, you can tell that that ball wants to shape. It's not oh, an yeah. ideal place to play. Put it down and you guys can see how smooth it is off the tank. Right. With a little bit higher rev. So. And that's... Literally, basically end over end. Like, Correct. I don't know if I can get the ball to shoot less than that. Oh. Do I your spare ball? I forgot all about this lane now. Spare ball, yeah, that would help. Because I'm definitely going to miss it. Didn't expect to miss it there, but. Okay, so you saw what it does up 20, or up 10, standard 20. Um, we're gonna move seven boards. So we're standing 27. Get the small, just outside third arrow. Big difference already. I mean, I'm coming through the ball a little bit more, and it wants to go on that back end. Something with this ball, GB5, solid, symmetrical. Um, it is a strong ball, I'll tell you that. I've seen other people throw it in like shorts, reels, whatever, on Facebook, Instagram. They do, it does the same thing for them. So, shoot a Spare games will be on point after this video, Bo. Practice it for that seven. Um, so we went with a three on the 2LS system. We did that with every ball that I have right now. Just to create an arsenal, see what I like, see what I don't like. Even tell there, the ball still wants to 
wants to go. Yeah. I yeah. was outside and that was it ripped back. If you have a higher speed, that would work. Um, I tried not to play with my speed, especially being newer at two handy. But granted, if I had like a mile an hour faster, that would have struck on the right side of the pocket. So that's 27. We're going to move to 34. I'm still not where I like to play on the house shot. It's still coming up high. Um, I'll do a couple more shots from there. It's a little bit more comfortable there compared to the other places that I've played already. As a two-hander, just use a spare ball, a strike ball, you know. Alright, so 34. Still high. Correct. But you saw as it went through the oil how it still wants the shape. Right. Which is a really good sign from this. It did stay a little bit though. It did float a little. There, boys and girls, is the easiest way to raise your average. <laughs> Wondering why. This is why. It's a little early in the day. Ah, oh shit, let's drink. Okay, it's about time for a strike, guys. You think? <laughs> Tired of this spare shooting. Yikes. Yikes. Gotta get this ball outside. That should have left the split all day long. Right there, how you increase your average, boys and girls. Perfect spare. So we're still standing at 30 seconds. Five hours later. Five. So that's where I start on a house shot. Um, my average is not high right now. <laughs> but the wrist pain is down. Yeah. That was the goal. She's flaring too. As a two-hander, I've had less flair. I'm gonna move 42. Hopefully throw the ball there. Just bulldoze it, Bubba. Just bulldoze it. I slowed the speed down on that shot. Um, probably shouldn't have done that. Didn't mean to, to be honest, but... Are you picky? No. 
right. Definitely a fresh house show. Tons of oil on the ball. Also means it probably needs to get baked, so. Uh, okay, so we'll move another 40, 45. So this is where I should be standing on a fresh edge. No, I'd be probably in front of the ball return. Um, being symmetrical and also as strong as it is, this ball does not quit. I think it likes the bigger angles, to be honest. I agree, I agree. But the Game Breaker Series line has always punched above its weight class. Why it's been around for so long, in my opinion. I mean, they got five versions of it, that should tell you something. Right. That looks better. There's nothing more to say about it. It's a good ball. It really is. It, for its price point, especially. Game breaker line has always been good. Not gonna talk me into it being a bad ball. Do I go further? How about you just throw some strikes? I don't want. <laughs> It'd be comfy to watch it split and throw spares, Bob. There's like three in there. That's good enough. Three strikes? Yeah. <laughs> that's about. That's why your average is one nine. You're right. Oh, yeah, we got no spares, bro. So that's fifty. So. 55. Clearly. Clearly, Brooklyn carries. Okay, so I'll spray this up and then we'll talk about the ball. Ready? Alrighty, boys and girls, children of all ages, that would be that Ebonite GB5, Game Breaker 5. Symmetrical solid, in my opinion, this here is probably a one-hander's benchmark symmetrical piece. Uh, Two-handers, you gotta have a little bit more speed than what Quentin has. He, um, like he said in the video, he's only two months deep into learning two-handed. He's got the fundamentals down, he's still working on tucking his shoulder, getting his arm flatter, getting more speed. There's a lot of things he's working on. Yes, we know some of his videos since he has gone two-handed, are tough to watch. <laughs> we know that. He is definitely... Um, They're tough to bowl. <laughs> he is definitely more established as a one-hander, but with the wrist issues that he's having, he is doing fairly well in my opinion. We're just dialing it in. I think if, if he would do one more season, he'd probably be pretty good at it. With that being said, this is going to be the GB5 from the two-hander's perspective as a new two-hander. There's a lot of them out there. It's one of the fastest growing methods of bowling. Or styles of bowling, so if you're just starting this video will pretty much benefit you. The game's got the ball. At least 80. Was it worth your initial investment? Yes. If you had to buy another symmetrical solid to fill that spot in your arsenal, would the Game Breaker 5 be it or would you go a different route? This would be it. That would be it. Now, we went with a three because we were just kind of fiddling with your system here. Do you think you would go with a weaker layout? Yes. Okay. So, that being said, I think this would probably benefit from it too. And I think with your ball speed, we're going to have to go a little bit. But we will figure all that out. And then 
Yes. Yes. Like I said, we finally have a three ball arsenal now. Well, four ball. We're getting there. Um, yeah, starting out fresh out of the box, this ball, in my opinion, was a little too early on the lane. Right now, as it sits, I think it's too late. But, but like I said, it's. The Game Breaker 5 doesn't curl up as fast as other, like Correct. the HK22 solids. Right. I mean, you can see that this still has a solid finish. Correct. Yeah, it, it, it has a couple of games on it since you've been the last time. Right. It's not horrible. It still shapes more than Black Widow 3.0. I won't leave. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't continue to stop on that. I don't care. But, you guys have the Game Breaker 5? Do you like the Game Breaker 5? Let us know. What you think? I think it's a pretty good ball. Not bad. So, you would uh, recommend it? Yes. You would buy another one? Oh, yeah. It was worth your initial investment? Yes, sir. We have 80 games on yeah. oh, it. Is. It is. It is. The sad thing is, we put holes in your Roto Grip Puzzle after this. I think you probably have probably over 150 games on that. That's my go to ball. That was your go to ball. Okay. That review is coming next. Covered everything, right? Yep. All right. Well, if you're in the market for jerseys, put the URL discount code below. That will take you right to Qualify. You got some of the best jerseys in the game. Who wouldn't mind? Like, share, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. We'll see you all next time.